What does it take to be born a Spartan? From the moment of their birth, Spartans were marked for a life of dedication and service. Spartan leaders would scrutinize each newborn, seeking signs of strength, health and potential. Those deemed fit were welcomed into the community, while the rest were said to be left on Mount Tegetus, facing a bleak fate. In their early childhood, the young Spartans were molded to be physically robust, mentally sharp, and emotionally resilient. They were taught to be warriors, thinkers, and citizens of Sparta, all at once. And at the heart of their upbringing was loyalty, an unwavering allegiance to Sparta that surpassed even familial bonds. They were raised with the understanding that their duty to their city-state was paramount, a commitment that was expected to guide their every action and decision. For a Spartan, the duty to Sparta was paramount, ingrained in them from the moment they were born. At the tender age of seven, Spartan boys embarked on a challenging journey, entering the Agoge. This was no ordinary school, but a grueling training ground where boys were chiseled into warriors. They were taught combat skills, and Spartan values of resilience, endurance, and resourcefulness were drilled into them. The training was demanding and often brutal, with physical excellence being the ultimate goal. Boys were encouraged to engage in combat with each other, testing their mettle, and honing their fighting skills. The conditions were harsh, with deliberate underfeeding and minimal clothing to prepare them for the realities of war. Resourcefulness was tested through a curious practice where boys were encouraged to steal for survival. And then came the diamastigosis, a brutal contest of endurance where boys were whipped in a religious ritual, testing their pain threshold and endurance to the extreme. The agoji was a crucible shaping and tempering young boys into the formidable warriors Sparta was known for. Spartan education was not limited to martial skills alone. The young warriors in training also delved into academic pursuit, learning to read and write. These weren't just idle pastimes. They were crucial skills that offered Spartans a broader understanding of the world and their place in it. Dance was another integral part of their training, teaching them grace and control over their bodies skills that would serve them well in the heat of battle. But what about the Spartan girls? Their education was no less rigorous. While they remained at home, they attended schools where they were immersed in the arts. Music, dance, and literary skills were all part of their curriculum. Furthermore, they were trained in sports like discus, javelin, and horseback riding, ensuring they remained in peak physical condition. Their role in Spartan society was as essential as the boys, expected to produce strong and healthy future warriors. Despite the harshness of their upbringing, Spartans were not just warriors, but well-rounded individuals, capable of contributing to their society in various ways. The Spartan way of life, as harsh as it was, forged some of the most feared warriors of the ancient world. Their unique societal structure, with its relentless focus on martial prowess and resilience, set them apart. Spartan children from birth were shaped into robust, mentally sharp and emotionally resilient beings, with their sole purpose being to serve Sparta. The rigorous training of Spartan boys in the Agoge, their endurance tests and their academic pursuits all contributed to creating formidable warriors. Spartan girls too were held to high standards, maintaining peak physical condition and mastering various arts. This militaristic society left an indelible mark on history. Their influence can be seen in later civilizations, which emulated aspects of Spartan military training and societal structures. Their tales of bravery and resilience continue to inspire and fascinate us. Although the Spartan way of life is long gone, its legacy endures, reminding us of a society that was singularly dedicated to the art of war.